people still talk about our press conference from last April out at Saginaw Valley when he received a standing ovation at our press conference. It was something very special. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome Mr. Joe McDonald. It's a great honor for me, it really is, especially to be uh, honored by these fellows from Saginaw Valley that are sports experts. I didn't realize all the work they do for the whole year to keep this organization running as smooth as it is. I pleaded with Pat Brady, can't you do this thing after I'm dead then I won't have to get up. <laughs> I want to have to get up here and give a speech, you know. <laughs> well, anyway, in the mid-30s, uh, they used to have speed skating races over at White Park for youngsters from 10 to 18. Uh, two Rona girls were there, Helen and Esther, they were a little over 18. And Wes Bloom is the other survivor. He said he was going to come, and I don't know if he made it tonight. The other one was uh, Bonnie Doyle. That's my lovely life, a wife of 70 years. She's here tonight. <laughs> but the problem was she had speed skates too. And it was hard to keep up with her and catch her. <laughs> but they used to turn the lights out at a White Park on Friday night at 9 o'clock. And if you could get them out on thin ice in the dark, you could start making a little headway. <laughs> uh, that's the truth. <laughs> Well, anyway, uh, we uh, had uh, about a dozen of us had good lucks in the races, and our parents used to haul us around. There was a big race in Detroit, the gold and silver skates, and the finals were up at uh, Alpena. And the war kind of slowed things down. Uh, although Bonnie won the national championship at La Crosse, Wisconsin in 41, Coming back after the war, we had about uh, 40 skaters, and Bonnie and I uh, coached them. And the Renshaw family set national records and national championships. There was a Martin family, the Blazies from uh, Midland, Renshaw's from Midland, John Cammon and Sagnaw, you all know him, he was on the team and a Bob Chickie that had a bicycle shop down on uh, Genesee. Also, my two oldest boys, Mike and Dan, won state championships, and my two oldest daughters, Peggy and Patty, won. Uh, the other thing I'm uh, really uh, uh, proud of tonight, and I want to mention it, is Terry McDermott and his brother-in-law Dick Samowski was Dick, uh, Terry's early coach. And you know, Terry McDermott was the greatest sprinter of all time, I think, in speed skating. If today, or back then, he had the skates that he had now. See, the early speed skaters were long, and you couldn't push off with your toe. You had a, you couldn't use your uh, calf. You couldn't dig your, your toe to dig in, slow you up. But about 15 years ago, they came out with skates that pivoted, 
so you can uh, push off with your calf or your calf. So the times are about uh, ten seconds faster. And then if you have that nice indoor ice at ha high altitude from a Zamboni, Terry's times would have been 15% uh, faster, and uh, he'd set records, and nobody would ever beat them. Anyway, thanks again for everything, and it's a great honor for me. Thank you.